Welcome back to Squawk Box. NBC News reporting that Israel's response to Iran's attack over the weekend could be imminent. I'm going to get straight over to NBC's Richard Engel, who joins us from Jerusalem this morning. Richard. So the Israeli War Cabinet, and good morning, is meeting again today for the third straight day in a row. And uh, sources are telling NBC News that they are very much looking at a response, a military response uh, against Iran uh, for this weekend's attack that uh, Iran carried out, a, a failed attack uh, with drones and, and ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. But uh, we're not exactly clear uh, what kind of attack that is going to be, uh, with four different uh, U.S. officials telling NBC News that Israel is contemplating ways to send a message to Iran that they want to do the attack sooner rather than later so that it is closely timed to the, uh, to the, to the Iranian attack. They don't want to wait weeks or, or even many days, uh, but they are trying to calibrate it in a way that doesn't provoke a wider war, and that is a lot e easier said than done because what Israel does and believes it is not uh, provoking a war is not necessarily how Iran will perceive any Israeli reaction and uh, action, and, and Iran is already said that if it is attacked by Israel, it will respond immediately. Uh, and according to those uh, U U.S. officials, uh, w some of the options that, that Israel is considering uh, include attacks on Iranian proxies outside of Iran's borders. Uh, but those officials stress that a decision, a final decision from Israel hasn't been made and could change. So uh, they are bracing uh, in the United States and all across the, uh, the Middle East for some sort of uh, Israeli response. We just don't know uh, where or, or the extent. And I think that is something that, that they're going to be calibrating or trying to calibrate today at that third secure war cabinet meeting.